Good morning folks, Mr. RV Tech here. Today we're going to be installing a solar system on a Tiffin Allegro bus. We're doing 200 watts with the controller on two series 6 volt batteries. Stay tuned, we'll go through the installation process. I'm going to take you with me. The three most important things, in my opinion, to consider before starting your installation. Number one, always read your instructions in full before beginning in the installation so you understand the equipment that you're using and the installation process. Secondly, observe safety. You're going to be on your roof, you're going to be on a ladder, and you will be working with electricity. All three of these things could be dangerous potentially, so obviously observe safety rules and be cognizant of where you're stepping and whether or not your power is live. The third thing is to make a plan. I've already made my plan and I'm going to share it with you. Here we have our solar controller and we need to find a location in the RV where it's going to be unobtrusive. Some of these aren't the prettiest thing in the world. In this case I've observed and looked around for where I would like to put this solar controller and this Allegro. And these are some nice looking walls. I don't want this big old controller sitting up there with a bright light. So I've actually found inside this cabinet that there's an access panel with nothing but speakers behind it so if we remove this panel you can see it's hollow and adjacent to the refrigerator which this will be our entry point on the roof so I'll put this panel inside of this cabinet in this service panel right here up high so it's out of the way but accessible to the consumer Next, we need to locate our batteries. In this case, I have two series 6 volt batteries underneath the entry steps. So obviously, I'll be running wiring here. So I have observed underneath that I have an entrance and exit port right here. That's where I'll run my wiring through. And in addition to that, we got lucky today and found this chase behind the couch. Let me light that up. Where I can run my wiring safely and right over to the wall that that cabinet is on. This will make things easy and unobtrusive. Here we are on the roof. It's always important to find a suitable place to put the solar panels. Remember they will be wired in parallel so keeping them close together is a good idea. In this case, I've measured the area on this side of this vent and the other side of this vent, and I have the length and width necessary, which is an excellent option because I'll be coming through the refrigerator vent to run my wiring. What you need to do is remove the sealant on the screws on your refrigerator cover. Next, you'll remove the four screws retaining your refrigerator vent cover. Lay these aside because they'll be used to put it back on. You'll notice this mesh material on your refrigerator vent. This is to keep birds and insects from building nests on the back of your refrigerator. A lot of people will cut this mesh open and make a huge opening and run their wiring. You do not want to do that. What we want to do is make a small incision with snips and lift it out of the way large enough for our MC4 connectors and we're going to reuse this mesh and put it back down and zip tie it so that no critters can get in and build nests. Once we've determined the location for our panels we're going to set them in place and measure and then we'll mark out for our roof mount lugs and screw the panels down. Next we're going to drill our half inch holes for our lugs. After drilling all eight holes, we'll have our rubber lugs installed like this. Once our lugs are in place, we'll install our shoulder bolts and tighten them down. Once our panels are securely in place, we can begin the wiring process. These are MC4 connectors. They are proprietary to male and female connections, so you can't mess them up. 
These will allow us to parallel these two panels and give us 200 watts instead of an individual 100 per panel. Then we'll run the wiring to the solar controller. Once we've completed the wiring process, we can apply sealant to all areas where we penetrated the roof and begin the wiring process. All right, so I've got everything sealed up up here and we are ready to start the wiring process. So we'll go inside and make way for our wires to come through. Here we are inside of our previously planned cabinet location. I'm gonna go through this shelf and eventually through this wall and into the upper refrigerator area where I'll be coming through with the solar panel wires. This hole will also allow us access inside of this wall so we can go down to our chase behind the couch and pick up our battery wiring and bring them all here where our controller will be located. 